joining us this morning with a pet looking for a good home is Kate Pica from the Baltimore Humane Society. Hey Kate, who'd you bring with you today? Hi Jen, I have got Captain today and Captain is a one-year-old mixed breed and we definitely say mixed breed. He um, is a stray out of Texas. He's been with us since August 30th and he has got the best wiggle butt in the world. Oh. He loves everyone. He loved everyone here so far. He's good in the car. Um, just a great all around dog. Oh man, he looks great. He's looking around. He looks pretty smart too. What do we know about him? Is he good with kids, other pets? Um, right now, what we know about him is what we've learned at the shelter. Um, what we've learned at the shelter is that um, he seems to be really good around everyone. He's pretty even keel. He is pretty high energy though, so I don't know if I would recommend super small children with him. Um, he knows some of his commands, as you can see. He's also very food motivated. Oh yeah. Um, that works out really well, which means he's smart and he's easy to train. Um, other than that, we really don't know. It's what we're learning as we're working with him. And it's going to be the same thing when someone adopts him because it's going to be about um, working with him and teaching him what he needs to know. He does know sit. He does know lay down. Mm -hmm. um, he does know like off. So he's done really, really well so far, even this morning. But again, we've had him for only a few days. And he has really beautiful eyes. And too. now he wants to see the world. He does. He's like, check it out. So somebody's interested. We think interested there may in be a little bit of Weimarine mm -hmm. in him. I'm wondering, is that the eyes that we're seeing there and his coat? His eyes and his coat lead us to believe there may be a little bit of the Weimarine in him. We're not sure. Again, comes with no information whatsoever. He was picked up off the streets in Lubbock, Texas. So if someone's interested in Captain, what should they do? They should go to our website, bemorehumane.org, um, fill out an application. The information's right on the top. You're just going to go to the adopt page, adopt a dog, pick them out, fill out an app. Um, we walk you through the process right on the website. So it's super simple to do. It takes about 24 to 48 hours for us to process that application. We're going to give you a phone call or we're going to pop you an email and set up a time when you can come in and meet him. You also have National Pet Memorial that's coming up on the 13th. Can you tell us about that? We do. We have a couple of things coming up this next weekend. The biggest one is going to be the National Pet Memorial Day, which is, of course, a national um, holiday or a commemorative date. Um, we're doing a number of things. We've got a memorial tribute wall where people can put their um, their pet that they have lost on our website um, for a small donation, and it will stay up the entire year as a tribute to them. We also are doing a virtual program. We usually do this live out in our memorial park. Um, we're doing this virtually. People can go to a, either our uh, Facebook page or, again, back to our web page. The information's right at the top in the green bar. Um, but they can register. It's free to join in. It's going to be Sunday at 11 a.m. There'll be speakers. There'll be musicians. It's all about um, pets and our love of pets. Um, we're doing some Sunday. Uh, we're doing a weekend stroll, I should say. That's going to be Friday, Saturday, and Sunday night from 5 to 8 p.m. Um, where people can come out and they can just pay respects to uh, the pets that they have lost. They can pick up a small commemorative um, stone that we have and get inf more information about us. And Kate, maybe even take home a brand new family member like Captain. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. Really appreciate it. <laughs> Jen, thank you so much for having us.